In 10 measly minutes, we'll have the world premiere of One Love, the first ever solo video from Love and Rockets frontman Daniel Ash. Right now, though, time for a 120 backflip to July, when Iggy Pop was my co-host on 120 Minutes. Iggy's been making records for over 12 years now, and he's considered by many to be one of the pioneers of punk rock. His latest album, Brick by Brick, is his biggest yet, and his duet with B-52 Kate Pearson looks like the Ig Man's first legitimate shot at top 40 success. But as Iggy told us, times weren't always so easy for him, and could have gotten really bad if it wasn't for his longtime friend and colleague, David Bowie. Your first solo album was yeah. 70, 77 yeah. The Idiot. And how, how big a part did David, did David Bowie play in, in your emergence as a solo artist? Well, I mean, put it this way, before I made that record, I was basically, I was a street person in L.A., basically, and I'd been kind of stymied by the entire music business and a, and a really disastrous manager in general, and drug problems, and uh, drinking, and uh, general carousing. You know, so um, at the time, I could have, I could have put together kind of just a stock rock band, something glam, something tasteless, but I didn't want to do that. And uh, it was really timely that he suggested basically two things: getting out of L.A., and which is great, and uh, and making an album together, which was a good idea because because he was really. He was loony enough to try any, he'd try anything at the time. He'd go to any length to do really good work. He's a very exciting uh, individual artistically. And his album, the album he had out at that time was called Station to Station. Mm -hmm. That's a great record. That's a really good record. Uh, so, yeah, he was, he was very instrumental in that. I think, I think had, had he not come along with that proposal, I, probably wouldn't be talking to you. No. Really? I'd probably, yeah, I'd be playing somewhere. Probably in 42nd Street or something, you know, something mm. like that. So it was, it was a good, uh, good stroke, you know. Mm.